When talking to creationists, I've often come against a, a, what I consider a really big problem. It's a question that, or, or a statement they make that keeps coming up time and time again. They say, evolution is just a theory and that's why it's called the theory of evolution. Ah, doesn't that just drive you mad? You know, don't they understand? Well, I'm going to take some time to sit and explain it to them. So if you are a young earth creationist, just sit back, take off your biblical glasses, take out your biblical earplugs, and learn something. Darwin's theory of evolution is what we in the know call a scientific theory and has stood the test of time and scientific experiments. Shall I explain? I think I will. A scientific theory is a rigu rigorously tested statement of general principles that explains recorded observations of the world. Therefore, a scientific theory describes a higher level of understanding that ties facts together. A scientific theory stands until proven wrong. And guess what? Evolution has never been proven wrong. Do you understand now? Nothing has disproved Darwin's theory since he first proposed it more than 150 years ago. In fact, scientific advances of scientific disciplines, including physics, geology, chemistry, and molecular biology, have supported, expanded, and refined evolutionary theory way beyond anything that Darwin imagined. And now, I've got that bit out of the way, and now you should know what a scientific theory is. I can just hear you saying, There's no evidence for evolution. <coughs> Well, just let me tell you, Darwin first published his theory of evolution by natural selection about 150 years ago, and in that time, a huge amount of evidence has been collected that support the theory. Let me just list some of the new evidence. A greatly expanded fossil record, the discovery of DNA and the process of genetic replication, a greater understanding of radi radioactive decay, observations of natural selection in both laboratories and in the wild. And stop, stop, don't reach for the keyboard, yes, don't, don't type in that old chestnut, I know what it is, I can almost hear it coming, I ain't no monkey. Correct, humans did not evolve from monkeys, humans are more closely related to modern apes than monkeys, but we didn't evolve from apes either, we are apes, and we humans share a common ancestor with modern African apes. Scientists think that this common ancestor existed five to eight million years ago. <gasps> yeah, that's right, five to eight million years ago. The species diverged. One of these evolutionary lines evolved into our early human ancestors called hominids. Now, how does natural selection work? Right? Because I know you don't believe in it, but how does it work? Or how do scientists say it works? How do we know it works because of the facts we have for evolution? In the process of natural selection, individuals in a population who are well adapted to a particular set of environmental conditions have an advantage over those who are not so well adapted. Well, that's simple, isn't it? Uh, those with longer beaks can reach further in, birds with longer beaks can reach further into the trees to get at the grubs, and those who can climb trees can get at, you know, that's it. So. The advantage comes in the form of survival and reproductive success. For example, those individuals who are better able to find and use a food resource will on average live longer and produce more offspring than those who are less successful at finding food in that particular environment. Inherited traits that increase an individual's ability to survive are passed on, giving the offspring the same or even better advantages. See? It's simple, and that's natural selection, and that's what Darwin proposed 150 years ago in his scientific theory, the theory of evolution. Let me just add, I, I will just state this, I know you've probably seen me type it a lot of times on the bottom of your very, very daft videos in support of the world is 6,000 years old, I didn't come from monkeys, evolution is a fact. No, no, there's no point shouting at me. Evolution is a fact. We see it. It's been observed. It's observed in laboratories. It's observed in the wild. You know, so stop shouting at me, and there's no point in doing that. Right now, the theory of evolution is how we explain the fact of evolution. There. Now you can get onto your keyboard, you can type insults at me. Send me death threats. I love death threats from Christians. It's quite amusing. Okay, bye for now, and I shall offend you again later.